It's been a long time. Eight-year-old was pictured heading off for another day of work shortly before 9 a.m., stepping out of her house in a fun floral dress, holding on to her beloved baby boy with one arm, and carrying a sleek clutch bag in the other, clearly thrilled to embrace another day of searing temperatures, which are expected to reach 94 degrees Fahrenheit in Washington, D.C. today. Beaming Ivanka was the epitome of summer trick in her short blue frock, from her own fashion line, which she paired with matching mirrored shades from Ray-Ban. She finished off her look with a pair of nude heels from her eponymous fashion line, and wore a simple gold pendant around her neck. Young Theodore, meanwhile, was dressed very smartly in a pair of gray shorts, a white button-down shirt, and a pair of brown leather shoes, no doubt eager to ensure that her son's shirt remained as white as possible. Ivanka had also added a blue and white patterned bib to his outfit, a sensible move, as it looked as though the youngster had just finished his breakfast, and had a few food stains around his mouth. Photos, Ivanka Trump leaves her D.C. home in stunning blue outfit social sharing top It's been a busy week for Ivanka Trump, but the mother of three couldn't have looked more relaxed as she left her home on Friday morning, carrying her youngest son Theodore on her hip. The 35-year-old was pictured heading off for another day of work shortly before 9 a.m., stepping out of her house in a fun floral dress, holding on to her beloved baby boy with one arm, and carrying a sleek clutch bag in the other. Clearly thrilled to embrace another day of searing temperatures, which are expected to reach 94 degrees Fahrenheit in Washington, D.C. today, beaming Ivanka was the epitome of summer trick in her short blue frock, from her own fashion line, which she paired with matching mirrored shades from Ray-Ban. She finished off her look with a pair of nude heels from her eponymous fashion line, and wore a simple gold pendant around her neck. Young Theodore, meanwhile, was dressed very smartly in a pair of gray shorts, a white button-down shirt and a pair of brown leather shoes, no doubt eager to ensure that her son's shirt remained as white as possible. Ivanka had also added a blue and white patterned bib to his outfit, a sensible move, as it looked as though the youngster had just finished his breakfast, and had a few food stains around his mouth. And while his mother was happy to flash a smile at the cameras as she made her way into a waiting SUV, while under the watchful eye of her Secret Service agents, Baby Theo looked slightly more bewildered by all the attention he and his mother were receiving. It's not clear whether Ivanka was planning to take her son with her to the office. A trip to the White House would certainly explain the young man's smart attire, and would make him the second Trump, Kushner child to pay a visit to the West Wing this week. On Wednesday, his older sister Arabella, who turned six on Monday, was given the chance to visit her mom in the West Wing, meeting both Vice President Mike Pence and Donald Trump's chief of staff. Reince Priebus, after leaving her home on Thursday, wearing a chick black and white ensemble, Ivanka shared an image of her daughter's fun-filled visit on Instagram, writing alongside it, Arabella loved visiting me in the West Wing yesterday, she then added the hashtag coolman to the post, she also noted that meeting the vice president and chief of staff was the highlight of the day for Arabella, who was seen in the image standing alongside her mother, and the vice president, wearing a pair of denim overalls, and pink sandals and carrying a doll, but it wasn't simply a fun-filled trip for Arabella whose visit to the White House took place during her grandfather Donald Trump's explosive interview with the New York Times.